Paul from Ondek here with you today. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some of the design things that we do to help our clients maintain the view of their yard, walkout basements, obstructions, doors, and things like that that some builders aren't really conscious of uh, when you get into a design like this. Here we're at a residence in Longwell that had lots of doors and a walkout base, but we just constructed this deck above. We rebuilt this entire balcony, which was falling apart. Uh, but at the behest of the, the client and the, the knowledge of myself, we wanted to make sure that we had a limited amount of span from post to post. What we see a lot happening in the industry is um, you have builders that make promises to customers and then all of a sudden they get a design out and then they end up with a whole bunch of posts that are trucking this window and these doors and everything else is happening. How do we achieve this is by one, sizing the foundation. We use a diamond tool product here to load the really high. Uh, sizing the, the column properly and buried inside here, which you can't see, is a 14 by three and a quarter inch product called LVO, uh, which is a laminated type of beam, which allows us to make the span. The span here is just over 18 feet long. The span over here is 18 uh, what really helps us here is the fact that this is only about four and a half feet. Uh, you know, if, if I show you a video on the other side over here, you see that the posters span much closer together as the span in the main deck of the poster. So, how do we come up with these things? Well, we do the math. Uh, we do the calculations. We figure out what it comes out to, 50 pounds per square foot. Uh, attach any additional roof loads that are on it. And we're very conscious about where the doors are. So, a few things. Uh, as you're planning your project to think about, it's not always as simple as just building a deck. It's where you want your post to be and how you want to maintain the beam. 